Red, a monster that no one has seen before. Today you will be finding out who Red is and what type of attacks he has. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Slam Dangles. Thank you for coming back to my YouTube channel. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, hit the little notification bell, that way you always know when I'm up Mom! Now last time on Godzilla the Creepypasta, Cosby got really close to finding out exactly what is under that red mask. So without further ado, let's get into Godzilla the Creepypasta. It was a hellish looking with no sky and a flicking fire in the background. The fire looked so more advanced than anything we've seen on the NES. There was music in a form of a slow, steady drum, and it almost resembled a heartbeat. All of the effects on the top of the screen and the life bar were gone. Like the Blue Mountain level, there were no enemies. He paced around for a minute, thinking, No sky, and a flicking fire in the background. The fire looks so more advanced than anything we've seen. You're making too yet. much noise. Music in a form of a slow, steady drum, and it almost resembled a heartbeat. All of the text on the top of the screen and the life bar were gone. In this place was a single bit of text in the middle of the screen that said, Run. Cosby had a feeling of dread that intensified. He cautiously walked through the level, but like the Blue Mountain level, there were no enemies. He paced around for a minute, thinking, run? From what? The first time he hit him, he didn't even see it. That's when he hears the low bellowing sound, and he sees it. This thing. In detailing his- That's body, red, guys. That's red. He says, do you know that feeling your body has? When He's right there. That's together? red. You start to recoil and tense up as the adrenaline flows through your veins and your nerves start to feel very cold. That's the feeling I had when I took this screen cap. I haven't seen all the Godzilla movies, but I'm pretty sure this wasn't in any of them. Cosby ends up beating the level with Godzilla. Next, he has to do the same thing with Mothra. But when he tries to do that, the game registers it as if he already beat it with Mothra. And that's when he's delivered to the third level. Trance. In Trance, Orga makes its appearance. Orga's made its film debut in 2000, so this game couldn't have been made in 1988. Cosby then begins to theorize that this has to be a ROM hack, but questions why. His first thought is that Billy made the ROM hack, but he doesn't believe Billy is able to do so. This map uses a question mark tile, which is where things really get interesting. Cosby refers to these levels as quiz levels. This is when the game takes a significant It isn't just about Godzilla defeating monsters and beating levels. This is when the game actually starts reaching across the fourth wall. Cosby refers to the icon as face. The music that is played when he's on the question mark level is actually in the game, and it's the music from the unplayable level when you attempt to use the Ghidorah cheat. To answer the question, you move Godzilla towards the answer you want to select. Once answered, the question will disappear and the face changes for around 8 seconds. It then goes back to a neutral face and it asks the next question. There are no right or wrong answers and there is no time limit, so you cannot time out these levels. Face has no respect for the player's personal boundaries and will sometimes ask deeply disturbing and personal questions. For example, do you like hurting people? Have you killed or raped anyone? Have you been molested by a family member? Other times, Face will ask mind-numbingly stupid questions like, is the sun hot? Is water wet? And maybe once per level, Face will ask you a question about the game itself. With one exception, Face's expression seems to have no effect on the game, except for indicating what the game creator thought of your answer. His reactions rarely made any sense, and Cosby admits that at first he thinks his questions are randomly generated. The questions never seem to follow a pattern, and Face never stays on the same subject for more than two questions. 
Cosby admits that early on he thought that the questions were leading up to something, but then Bates would just ask some random stupid questions. Cosby admits that there are faces he understands and some he does not. These are the faces he seems to understand. One is neutral, two is angry, three is sad, four is happy, five is sick, six is maniacal, seven is surprised, eight is love, nine is annoyed, 10 is confused, and 11 is guilty or hurt. These are the faces that Cosby doesn't seem to understand, and he thinks that they may be just jokes from the creator. They seem to be attached to rather meaningless questions like, do you like ice cream, or are you a tough guy? Once Cosby is finished with the quiz, he tries one of the temple levels. He's impressed with the detail that went into the levels, and you can see they're really quite beautiful. The music during the temple stage is a hypnotic techno track that has an Indian vibe to it. There are two enemies on this level, a flying ghost with a trunk and a bat with a horse skull for a face. According to Cosby, they appear at random, and the point screen seems to be like complete garbage, but it also kind of looks like a train. Cosby then goes to the Blue Mountain level and is attacked by what he's now calling not Mogera. He's worried what else the game might throw at him as the boss monsters don't attack during normal levels and they have their own levels. His next fight is with not Baron. Now if you notice, the point screen seems to be garbage again, but if you look closely, it looks like there's a spaceman there. To me, it kind of reminds me of Neil Armstrong putting the flag on the moon. Not Baron attacks by kicking, opening up his chest, and firing heat-seeking missiles. Cosby recounts that he could tail whip the missiles away. He then fights Not Hedora, who is much harder. Now to me, Not Hedora's point screen seems to look like him. He's aggravatingly difficult, and his special ability is to shriek and summon a swarm of 10 bats. The AI would then get very aggressive and attack twice as fast. Cosby then goes to the Green Temple level to regain health, but none of the horse bats showed up after killing not Fedora. Cosby gets the idea that maybe killing the monsters is what's making the red face show up, so he thinks, well, what would happen if he tried to skip the fight with Orga and went straight to the base? So he gives it a try. The game doesn't allow him to do this. It takes control of his beast and forces him to fight Orga. Cosby gives props to whoever designed the game, as the fight with Orga is very much like the actual movie Godzilla 2000, with the punch and heat beam attacks. When he gets Orga down in hell, he would try to swallow you and drain your health, but using the heat beam attack would be devastating to Orga. After defeating Orga, Red appears. So in doing research for this project, I noticed that the red face seems to be very familiar, and I finally came across it. The red face could possibly be a Namahaj or Namahaje, however you want to pronounce it. A Namahaj in traditional Japanese folklore is a demon-like being portrayed by men wearing hefty oni or ogre masks and traditional straw capes called Nino during a New Year's ritual of the Oga Peninsula area of Akita Prefecture in northern Honshu, Japan. The legend of the Namahaj varies according to area. An Akita legend has developed regarding the origins of Namahaj, that Emperor Wu of Han from 87 BC from China came to Japan bringing five demonic oni to the Oga area, and the oni established quarters in the two high local peaks, Hanzan and Shinzan. These Oni stole crops and young women from the Oga villages. The citizens of Oga wagered the demons that if they could build a flight of stone steps, 1,000 steps in all, from the village to the five shrine halls, all in one night, then the villagers would supply them with young women every year. But if they failed the test, they would have to leave. Just as the Ogres were about to complete the work, a villager mimicked the cry of a rooster and the Ogres departed. Cosby readied himself as best as he could. As soon as he starts to level and seeing that it was basically the same as the first, he doesn't waste a millisecond before starting to fall ass. He soon encounters obstacles in the form of ground tiles suspended in the air. Most of them he could jump over or destroy, and others you had to crawl under. About 40 seconds into it, he hears a terrible bellowing roar. That scared me. Stacks of obstacles barely slowed Red down. It would go back up and then charge its way through them, smashing them into bits. And when the smaller obstacles got in his way, it would expand his jaws and swallow them whole. Cosby was afraid, but with fast thinking and faster button pressing, he escapes Red yet again. He feels really excited. And so he laughs and says, not this time, asshole. He decides to take a screen cap to celebrate. But when he says that sentence, just before the level ends, the monster does something that 
takes another screen cap of the next level title, right before he rushes to the bathroom to splash some water on his face. The next level is dementia. So that's it for part two, ladies and gentlemen. Cosby actually makes it to the level called dementia. What's going to happen next? You're going to have to stay tuned to find out. Remember.
Sorry, I had to do this.